sanctity of human life. What does that mean? Does life have inherent value? Why do we believe that it does? I'll try and provide some answers for these questions. Starting with, what does the term sanctity of life mean? Simply put, the phrase sanctity of life refers to an idea that all human life is sacred and precious. It has been used by different groups over the years and as such has been applied to a variety of contexts and circumstances. But it always fundamentally means the same thing, that life is sacred and precious. And if life is precious, then it should be protected. But why do people believe that? Why do people believe that life is precious, that it has value, and that it should be protected? When God created mankind, he breathed life into them. He created humans after his own image and set us apart from the rest of creation. Genesis chapter 1, verses 27 and 28 says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says, Then the Lord God formed the man of the dust from the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living person. Because God created us, I believe that each life that has existed since has inherent value. Life is valuable. Life is worth saving. Without religion, Christianity, without there being a creator, without a being crafting us and giving us value, then the idea of human life having inherent value doesn't really exist. Because you see, the alternative to creative design is us just being an accident, a byproduct of time, which is problematic in as many issues. If you and I are just an accident that happened, if we're just a byproduct of random chance, then it's not hard to come to a conclusion similar to life has no real meaning or life has no real value. If that were the case, then truly nothing matters and there is no meaning to life or anything else. That doesn't sound good to me, though. Not just that, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound like what people actually believe. That is, if we look at people's actions and not just their words. You see, most people believe that life has value, and people's actions telegraph that. And those people that don't care about the well-being of others, I guarantee you it wasn't how they initially saw the world. It's the result of being broken down and indoctrinated by the idea that there is no God and that life has no real meaning. These are not the ideas of man. They are the lies of the devil, lies that the devil is trying desperately to spread at any cost. In the world of today, when people are trying more and more to devalue human life, remember that God created you. God created them. God created all of us. And as such, you have value as a human being. So treat each other with kindness, show love and understanding. Remember the value that each human life has. And I'll leave you with this verse, Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you.